Now to the hunt for a man charged with counts of aggravated sexual assault of a child. Orlando Mendoza was first accused of sexually assaulting a child back in 2017. Today, new charges as another victim comes forward, but Mendoza is not in custody. Channel 2's Phil Archer is live outside Hartman Middle School in Southeast Houston with more tonight. Phil? Yeah, and the reason Mendoza hasn't been arrested on these most recent charges is because after his first arrest three years ago, he skipped bond. He has not been seen since. Police have been trying to find Mauricio Mendoza for almost three years. He skipped bond after being charged with the aggravated sexual assault of a 13-year-old girl back in 2017. It allegedly happened at Hartman Middle School, where Mendoza worked as an IT technician and the girl attended classes. Shortly after being charged and released on bond, Mendoza simply disappeared. He's been at large ever since. Now investigators have redoubled efforts to find him after another former student came forward to say she was also sexually assaulted by Mendoza at the school around the same time. She was also 13 when it allegedly happened. She told police on two occasions Mendoza stalked her in the school auditorium, the first time violently fondling her, the second time a week later forcing her to have sex. We're hoping that these two extra warrants will uh, hopefully bring about more information that will allow us to be able to get him into custody. Prosecutor Jenna Oswald says as long as he remains at large, Mendoza should be considered dangerous. He's incredibly dangerous. And so he's not just dangerous because he was a teacher at a school. That was just where he had access. He can find another access to, ch to children. And so he is dangerous. He's dangerous to any child that he's around. Investigators are asking that anyone with information about Mendoza's whereabouts call Houston Crime Stoppers. They're offering a reward of up to $5,000. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Phil, thank you.